Well, it's finally time for the ROC shootout. Here is the starting lineup for the Bullring Bandits. Up in front row here, starting on the pole, is the 51D of Mr. Camaro Yinko. One heat win this season at Kenyon County at, during race number five. He's got five top fives and three top threes to this season. Starting on the outside of him is the number 28C of GC VFF Farmer. Two top fives for Farmer this season. Not bad, considering half the races he's missed due to commitments to another racing league that he's in. Now back in row number two on the inside, the 74D, that's smoking aces, uh, driving uh, late in the season, starting uh, pretty late as things went on, but still managed to get two heat wins at Madison Lake and Sugarbush at races 11 and 14. It's going to be one to watch starting inside here, row number two, six top fives, three top threes, and a top five in every single race that he's been in this season. All right, on the outside is... Uh, Avery in car number three may not make the, the show tonight, but we'll hold the starting position just in case. Inside row number three is TNT and number 11S. And so one heat win for TNT in the journeyman division at Sugarbush back at race number two, one top five. Not a lot of races out of TNT since then. So he'll be in the field tonight, uh, giving it a shot at one last chance to get into the championship race. Outside of him, another newcomer, the commander for Team JRC and number 77. Only two races this season. What potential does the 77 have tonight in the field? And another driver that may not make the field, bringing up the tail of the REC shootout, starting seventh will be Maltube in the 2A.